Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm a sales engineer here at Avic. Today, we're going to show you how to deploy an Avic appliance for a new client network that you're looking to monitor with Avic. We're going to assume that you've already signed up for an account and are setting up your first or, or an additional client. We'll be using the OVA installation method, which works best for VMware and VirtualBox deployments. If you want to deploy an appliance in another environment, please consult our knowledge base for deploying Avic on top of Ubuntu server. Let's start by logging into our Avic MSP dashboard. Once logged in, we'll arrive at the All Clients menu. I'm going to click the Add Client button. Then, I'm going to fill in some basic information about the client account that I'm monitoring, like their name, address, and the desired domain prefix. Once I'm done, I'll click the Save button. Next, I'm going to click into my new client account that I just created. When I log in, I'll be prompted to download and deploy the Avic appliance, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Once that OVA file is downloaded, I'm going to fire up VirtualBox and import it. I can import the new OVA file by clicking on File and Import Appliance. I'll browse to the directory where I downloaded the file and then select it. Before clicking Import, I'm going to make sure that I've selected the option to reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. Note that this step is only for VirtualBox. Once the VM is imported, I'm going to click the green Start button to initialize the virtual machine. Once initialized, we'll arrive at the purple Avix splash screen, which is where we'll begin to download the latest firmware. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Once installed, we'll arrive at the Avic console screen. You should see a status of running, connected, and approved, all in the color green. If you see a status other than this, please consult our knowledge base or contact Avic support for further assistance. Once that status of running, connected, and approved is achieved, head back over to your browser. You'll notice that the appliance wizard has disappeared and you'll be taken into your Avic map. From there, you can begin the discovery onboarding process. Thanks for watching.